everybody, it's me Edward Jones back with a new video. I recently posted a video where I did my first transition from a shotgun to a handgun. And I was going through the comments, so there was a short clip. And I was going through the comments, I noticed that one of my subscribers who's been following my channel for quite a long time, his channel name is 99souls, he said, is that in, in 870? How dare you betray the 1897, lol. And I can tell you can tell he's been following my channel uh, for quite some time because I will anytime you see me do a shooting video with shotguns, I've always had the 1897 Winchester. Uh, turns out I actually had a, I've had a Remington all along. I actually, in fact, I bought a, I bought this Remington back in 2011. I just never did a video of it because, well, who hasn't seen a, um, an 870 video? Everyone and their mama has an 870 shotgun. Or Mossberg 500, which was which was my first gun purchase, but I figured um, um, I guess I do a, I've done more unique videos with the 1897 that you know, I didn't think it was anything special to do on the, on the 870, but I figured you know what um, I'll do a video on the eight, on on my 870. Uh, I bought a, a, a Remington 870 Express back in 2011 at a gun show. Uh, I bought it you know to kind of you know. I always heard that dispute what's better than you no know, what's better, Mossberg 500 or a Remington 870, and I figured, well, what the hell? Why not just own both of them and call it a day? And that's what I did. Uh, also, this, also the the 870 is very customizable, as, uh, just just like the Mossberg 500. There's a lot of um, factory and aftermarket parts you can buy for these guns, and you know, customize it to your taste. Different stocks, different forearms. Different shell carriers, different sights, different magazine tubes, different barrels, um, different texturing, different you know, uh, different safety enhancements, different triggers, even detachable magazines. You know, I've seen those before, at least on the Mossberg 500. 500s. I haven't seen them on the Remington yet, but but um, I'm pretty sure they're out there if I look hard enough on the internet, I and mean, if you look hard enough on the internet as well. Um, the first upgrade I've done for the shotgun, uh, I got a side saddle. Originally, this gun came with just a four, just a four plus one magazine tube, so that's all I had at the time. So I, I figured you know, I'd just get a four, a four shell side saddle, make my tag star on the side. Next, um, I bought a, I got found this barrel. It's 18 and a half inch uh, parkerized uh, OEM part from Remington. It has a cylinder bore. And a bead sight. Um, I got this off of a gun broker for about $123. Uh, I think back in 2000. I bought this shortly after I bought the shotgun. So I, went, I knew I wanted to turn this into a riot shotgun. Um, actually, I sold the barrel. I sold the 28 inch barrel because you know I knew I wasn't going to use it. So uh, I always like, you know, sh I've always liked uh, home defense shotguns. And so I figured I'd you know, do the same thing to this. Uh, the next upgrade I got was this. Sling, sling mount from Scatter te Scattergun Technologies. It's a side mount. Um, also got this sling from Spec Gear. Uh, I think it's called Spectra. Spe I, think it's, I think it's Spec Gear. Spec Gear. Um, I said check them out. They have a lot of um, upgrades for uh, Mossberg 500s, uh, Burnton 870s, uh, Winchester 1300 Defenders, Benelli Novas. Uh, a lot of slings, different um, different shell mounts. Flashlight mounts, you name it, they they ought to have it. Um, they even have AR accessories, NAK accessories as well, like magazine pouches, um, furniture, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, the next thing I bought was actually pretty hard to find. Was and a fact was a Remington, a Remington made magazine tube extension that was only the two that was that was a two shell magazine tube ex a two shell extension. That was parkerized. That was very difficult for me to find, but I found it on Gun Broker. I uh, think I paid maybe around seventy dollars. I think like sixty-five dollars I paid for it. And um, right the day I got it in the mail, I just got back from work that night. It was like four in the morning. I worked late. Uh, I worked late. I worked a lot of late hours during the time. And since that guy tore the box open and you know, started cutting the ma cutting the magazine tube spring to right length and got it all set up. Now. Uh, one that, one upgrade I done to this gun that wasn't intentional. It was more so I lost. A, I thought I lost the part. I have a high vis follower. I don't know if you can see that. It's, or, uh, it's orange. What happens? I was taking the gun apart, 
and I have been having some issues where the magazine tube will only hold five shells instead of six. So I was uh, trying to figure out what's the right what's the right spring length, and somehow this the follower shot out the magazine tube. I don't know how it got it. You know, it was able to do that, but it did. It shot out from um, it shot out from the direction the muzzle points in. I guess I had, uh, I had everything mixed up at some point, and I couldn't find it. So instead of uh, having an out of, out of commission shotgun, I went on a midway, got a high vis follower, installed it. Then a few days later, as I was cutting my hair, um, I found it underneath. I found the original follower underneath the workbench. So I have an extra part, which is not a bad thing to have. And then I think the last uh, the last upgrade I done for this gun was uh, swapped out the forearm. Uh, this is a, if you recognize this, this is a corn cob form that you see on a lot of uh, Remington 870 police models and uh, tactical models. I believe they, they have a new design now for the ones that are made of composite material, but this is the wood one, and this is what they have used on their, uh, their shotguns for many years. And so I figured I'd go ahead and uh, pick this up, but I picked it up months ago. I didn't install it on the gun until this week. Uh, when I was able to take it to a gunsmith and they had the right wrench to take off the, the forearm nut and I was able to put, uh, put the new forearm on. This is the original one. And I'll show you guys, as you can see, um, the express forearm is longer than the police forearm. And with that being said, that's also why I, had, why I only got the, the four shell side saddle because when you pump, when you pump the gun back, Form wraps around the receiver um, till it, till this point, and so I couldn't get a I couldn't get a six shell side saddle, you know. So I might get one now. Now I got this new form, but I may keep it the way it is. I kind of like the way it uh, I like the way it feels. You know, not not too heavy. Um, it's very comfortable. Uh, smooth cycling shotgun. And um, yeah, this is it. Like I said, I didn't do a video of it because you know a lot of people, a lot of people out there have them. But I figured, you know, I guess since the since it was brought up that I, didn't, I was doing a shooting video without an 1897 Winchester, that I show uh, show a part of my collection that I didn't really, uh, I didn't really, didn't really feel like doing a video on. It. But here it is. I uh, hope you guys like it. Uh, you know, you got any comments, uh, encouragements, criticisms? You know, please leave them in the comment section. I encourage uh, diverse. Uh, array of opinions on the, on the videos I make. Um, I only ask you to be civil um, towards those who leave comments. You can say whatever you want to me. It's, it's cool with me. I don't, um, you know, nice things, good. Bad things, you know, I guess it's good to hear. Uh, at least I know how people out there feel. But, um, like I said, you know, it's my shotgun. I hope you guys like it. I'm Edward Jones, and thank you for watching my video.